So something new that I thought might be pretty cool and that I'm experimenting with at this point is uh, some stand-up paddle boards. And so I have a more traditional one. So we should get some videos on that pretty soon. And these are all like build yourself kits because that's mostly what we do. And I've seen some like catamaran type stand-up paddle boards and I thought those were really cool. So I, I took a good look at those and then kind of came up with a design that I think would work pretty well as like a build yourself kit here. And here is what I've come up with. And so we have the two holes and then that deck that goes across the center there. And then so this whole area on the top is all like flat deck. And so this is 12 feet long. So pretty long as far as a stand-up paddle board is concerned and I believe we're 35 or 36 or so inches wide I'm not quite sure uh, that's still kind of to be determined and so this is really as far as I've gotten right now just in the free time at the end of the day I kind of work on it a bit so this would be the one of the rear sections of one of the halls and you can see this is kind of cut out and it's a bunch of different pieces that get stuck together. So this is obviously the bottom and then this would be forming the top. And so uh, we're cutting a whole bunch of these to form that top side of the board to reduce the amount of foam that we're using because foam is um, surprisingly expensive and these days it's just getting more and more expensive due to a variety of circumstances but trying to reduce the overall material cost of it by reducing the foam so back into the the storage room here it would so we're cutting these out of these pieces of foam which is the same foam that some of the surf wings are cut out of and I believe the total comes down to three these make up one hull and then so three make up the other hull eight total pieces of this make up the hulls and then the idea for the deck is going to be two of these that are shaped to fit perfectly in between all right so these are all the pieces cut out uh, just kind of getting a rough idea of what we're looking at here so you can see that these kind of form They'll sit on top right here, give it some extra height, and then obviously a plywood deck is going to come on top of this, and that should work out pretty well. We'll find out. So here we have it flipped over, just kind of cobbled together, not fitting perfectly, obviously, right now, but. Uh, that just gives it a better idea as to what we're looking at. So yeah, two of these kind of side by side. Really, I think the distance in between the two is gonna be about a foot. Um, and so that's gonna be another two pieces that, that gets glued in there. So I think these themselves will be built on their own. And then deck structure gets built. And then I think you join join them together and at that point you flip it over and you put on the deck and so yeah that's that's about where we're at this came out pretty good i was worried about how the pieces would fit together how well they would fit together and so far they seem to fit together uh, about as good as you would need them and so here is one whole pontoon or i guess side of the uh, board kind of fit together so as as to how this gets shipped if it even gets to that point i'm gonna have to figure that out because these are a bit of a worry so that's gonna take some thought but yeah that's kind of the one of the benefits i guess is the shipping is a killer it's not the weight it's the uh the volume of things it can get pretty expensive at some point so I think, you know, if you get two of these, those are manageable size boxes. And then probably that deck would come in a, a much smaller box. And so besides cutting out the other pontoon, which is the exact same as that, this is the centerpiece right here. 
So you can see where one of the pontoons would be. And so this kind of joins right along that curve very nicely. And then this concave part right here goes on the bottom. And then this ties into the flush deck up top, hopefully. So yeah, I'll probably cut these out next because these are pretty quick and easy and then just see how it joins together. Um, Cause I'm really gonna think through how this gets built before doing it because the first time I build it is going to be the build instructional video because I, I don't want to have to build it twice and I'm pretty confident in how this is going to go together but there might be something I haven't thought of yet that could be a, a potential issue but I think we're we're pretty good to go uh, and it should be a pretty quick and easy build because th those aren't that big as far as like each one of the sides and then this piece isn't so bad at all i think the main part that might be a little bit tricky is getting them to fit together nice and flush but i think with a flat floor that's going to be your best bet so we'll see what happens there but um anyways that's where it's at uh probably in one of the next videos we'll just continue on from there and just kind of follow up until the point that it gets built and I might make two separate videos one at the same time so as I'm building it one that's like the formal build instructional video and then like one alongside at the same timeline that's kind of just kind of like this kind of talking about the issues and the problems and, and how it gets done so uh, yeah, I think this would be cool. Um, in the end, I think it might be pretty cool. We'll see, it might turn out terrible, but I have pretty good hopes for this. I think it'll be, it'll be very nice in the end and certainly uh, very useful in terms of how you can use it with a, an electric motor or just paddle. It should paddle really fast because uh, hopefully not a lot of drag on it. So it'll kind of just kind of cut through water better than a traditional board, hopefully. And we'll see, we'll find out, kind of experimenting as we go.